What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video today. We are heading into the week two tournament of the PGA Tour season, the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines South Course in San Diego, California. Ryan Gamer is coming off a week one victory at the American Express Tournament at PGA West, and it was insane. It was our first tournament playing on the simulation settings, and round number one was actually the best round of golf I've ever played in this game, 11 under, and round number three, Ryan fell apart a little bit, and then the final round was exciting. Ryan Gamer versus Patrick Cantlay, the AI pairing was turned on and Cantlay played some of the best golf and almost sparked a huge comeback to win. Ryan was able to hold on and here we are going into week two on top number one in the FedEx Cup standing sitting with 500 points. This is a course I struggle with in this game. It's a course I struggle in in PGA 2K23 and we are still playing this tournament on 100 AI scoring difficulty. A lot of you all have been posting comments about the difficulty level and I, you all seem to have it backwards. So read the print to the right side of the screen. AI scoring difficulty controls the leaderboard scores posted by the AI golfers. Decreasing this value, which would be closer to zero, will result in higher overall scores and decreased difficulty. Higher scores in golf is worse, which means it, the difficulty is getting easier. Increasing this value will result in lower overall scores and increased difficulty. So lower overall scores in golf is better. So that's going to make the game harder. So we are on the max difficulty settings in this game right now and still playing on the simulation. I'm only going to use zoom when on the greens to actually be able to move around and see. I'm not going to use zoom on any other aspects. We're still on the simulation settings without power meter. So it is going to be a battle, but if you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check for more episodes here in this series by checking the full playlist I have linked in the description. It could be that the full series is already live. So in round number one, we have optimal course conditions as far as wind speed. One to two miles per hour. I was actually hoping to have a little more wind, but it is time. Round number one. Tory Pines, let's get it out there and dominate this golf course and maybe get back-to-back -back wins. So here we go. It's time. Let's start this tournament strong after getting a win. We've got this. Let's silence the fans by addressing the ball. Let's dive right in. Just got to send it. Always gets the nervous jitters out when you hit the fairway right away. Looked like it might have went right. Oh no, that's beautiful. And there's a good start. That one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. There's the announcers. They were awfully silent. It just, you Nota know, it took me straight onto the course. Winner of the PGA <laughs> Tour is with us. And Noda, our featured player here in round number one, obviously made, we'll call them bonsai pipeline size waves last week in the golfing world, winning in their first PGA Tour start. That was really something to watch, wasn't it? Well, having that level of performance in their first PGA Tour start is number one, it's unexpected, but secondly, it just this builds confidence. Um, but the world of sports, That's right. the PGA Tour is no different. It's what have you done for me lately? Everybody starts again at the same starting line. You got to go out and put the work in. Got to go out and put the work in is right. I was hoping they would have hyped up the first tournament, right? There they go. Beautiful. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. So we're left with 18 feet, and we got Noda. Screen. And break won't be a big worry, but speed will. This is going to pick up momentum as it works down the slope. Yeah, this seems like significant downhill putt, especially if we look at it from this way. It's going to be significant downhill. I don't think, like Noda said, I think he's right. I don't think it's going to break very much. We're about to find out. Oh! Yeah, he would have liked that to fall, that, hey, but he needed to gun it great just read. a little more. Great read. You can't make them all, not on these settings. We will take a par any day of the week. Safely in. It's a par here at the first, and he'll stay at level par. I need to drink some more water. Uh, so let's get, you know, I have coffee sitting over here for birdies, but I need to drink some more water. 
295. Let's get the caddy book out. Take a look at this. Carry that bunker at 276. Should just be able to send this. I'm interested to see what the AI is going to shoot on this golf course on the highest difficulty setting. Yeah, this is not a long Beautiful. hole. That is a big drive here at two. Gotta be able to put the approach shots close. That's something Ryan did excellent last week. It's just unstoppable on his short so game. Great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. I'm going to go with the pitch shot. Full loft on it. To add some more spin. I'm going to try to land this. It's a little bit uphill. I'm going to try to land this about 49. Get up. Landed a little bit shorter than I wanted it on the underswing. What a shot, though. Honestly, if we hit that perfect, it might be in. A five-footer now for birdie. There are no gimmies on this difficulty setting. To me, it looks like a steady left to right. The ball is below the feet. I'm going to hit this firm. I know it's pretty aggressive. Yes. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. Now we get our coffee. Whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. You love to see it. Let's keep it up. Okay, so this is significant downhill. Hole number three here, 195 yards. We don't know how much downhill it is, but it's probably over 20 being a red arrow. No, there's not a lot of wind. One to two miles per hour. I'm going to play this as an eight iron. And add full loft to it. See if this is at least going to hit the green. Great tempo. Go, go. <sighs> Too short. Okay, that's not on the green, but there are certainly worse places to miss here at three. That is so true. Worse places to miss, such as sending it into the water. <sighs> Do I chip this or Texas wedge? It's always the question I've been asking myself recently. And I think we chip this. Full loft. Land it about five yards. Five or six yards. It's going to roll right to left. Ooh, so the right to left was only at the end. That's not a bad effort. We could be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Ball is above the feet. Steady right to left. Be a simple putt, right? You don't want to so miss those. Safely in. It's a par here at the third. Can't say I haven't missed those, though. At one under par. I think we've all been there. I don't think I've missed one in this game yet from there. But we will. Just give it time. 475 yard par four. This could be a very difficult hole. We're going to have to send this ball. It's so fun to play this game on this settings. I should have pulled out the caddy book there. That's on me. Sent that right into the bunker. And you saw that one kick up some sand. It is indeed in the bunker. Ryan does not look impressed as he shouldn't. Take much, if any, sand here. His second to this par four. So we have 149 to the front of the green, 183 to the back. Uphill lie and 83 to 91 percent. This is actually worst case scenario for us right now. 189 in the approach. Let's put full loft. I'm just, I'm not even sure if this gets over. The lip. Good yeah, it got over. There. It got over all right. What a golf shot. That's a good strike and a very good result. <laughs> You all see what was Ryan doing there? <laughs> it's a weird celebration. So Jerry had Ryan. If you all don't know Jerry, you just stepped into the series. Jerry is the caddy, and Jerry had Ryan study the caddy books extensively. And apparently, Ryan must have really studied studied that bunker shot. So hats off to the caddy for giving us that information. 11 feet downhill. Ball is below the feet. It's going to be a steady left to right. Going to hit this pretty aggressive. I get very aggressive on short putts. That one 
just going to sneak Broke a lot by. more than I expected. We're not reading the greens well here at Torrey, Torrey Pines. There's a lot of golf left, but okay, got to get more birdies. It's a par here at four, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. So the last course is a course I always score well on. I always play well there, PGA West in this game, so makes sense we scored well there. But Torrey Pines, it's always a struggle for me. Not an easy golf course. Just don't put this in the sand. <laughs> That's a really good swing. Getting extra distance with the fast and over swing. Beautiful. No issues here. That is into the fairway. 125 left to the hole. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. It's 125 yards left to the hole. Pin on the right hand side. So really looking for a fade in here if he can. Yeah, if only we could fade it, fade it Iona. The wind's going to fade it a little bit, but... We, we can't hit that diagonal swing plan. I have it turned it off. I need to turn that off. But here we go. 50 degree wedge, a little bit aloft. Gonna come off to the right slightly. That'll play just nicely. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh, Ryan, Ryan's facial expressions. 14 feet putt here. To me, it looks like a steady right to left. Maybe comes back at the end. It's a little bit downhill. It's like a steady right to left. Yes! You betcha. Get in there. there. That is in for a birdie. Cheers, everybody. What a birdie. Wow, we wanted to do through five. Not the start that we had at PGA West, but that was kind of just an insane start. Send it. Not my type of fairway, narrow. But when you stripe it perfect off the tee. Oh, hold that thought. <laughs> when you stripe nope, it perfect off the tee, you're going to end up in the sand to the left. Running up the left side of this sixth hole. Want to make sure you catch this cleanly. His second to the par five. 229, slide uphill into a one to two mile an hour wind. We don't have to worry about the wind. It's 83, 92% lie here with this hybrid. We're going straight at it. Not going to get up all the way. Take still a good shot. That's what he wanted to do after the tee shot. Puts himself in really good position here. On Ryan's the fired up today, isn't he? This is when we pull out the old spinner shot. One of my favorite shots in the game. Get aggressive up the slope and send it. Yes. Four under that is that. why it's my favorite shot. Wow. Well, uh, that happened. Cheers for that one, everybody. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. What a golf shot. Hey, we eagled the six. Completed the chapter goal. That's what we needed. That's a jolt of energy. <laughs> what a shot. I love that golf shot. Gold spinner shot is key in this game. You can dial it in. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. We sent that thing. Okay, so 121 away. The fairway. 121 yards is the number we're looking at. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. It looks significant. It look, It's not significant downhill, but it looks like at least 9 or 10 feet. It's going to fly about 118 with this wind a little bit more. Let's take a little bit off. See if we can put this one close. Studying the caddy books has really been helping Ryan out lately. I underswung. I think we had the... Ah, maybe it been a little bit short. It wasn't as much uphill as I thought. And looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Okay, it's quite a bit uphill here. This thing is quite a bit uphill. 
To me, it looks like a right to left break, but it's not going to break as much up that slope. I'm going to go like 12. That it's, that it's like 12 inches uphill. Aim at about 40, get very aggressive. Double breaker. Wow, I did not see that. It was right to left and left to right. That's the fun of these settings, right? Because it adds that unique challenge of it to where, hey, you're going to be wrong a lot of the times on the grids. Yep, we'll, well take done. it. That's in for par here at seven. You can ask for a better start, though. Four under. four under through seven, that eagle helps a lot. Kind of pad the stat sheet a little bit, but hey, I'll take it. Such a tough par three. In location, back left, 165 to the front. 180 away. It's significant uphill. I'm going to play this like 25 feet uphill or more. Maybe even 30. But I have to send this about... We're going to actually go finesse shot. A little more accurate. We're going to be hitting a 7 iron with full loft to add a little bit of spin as well. I don't even know if this gets there though. About to find out. Underswing was not ideal. It did get there, but that went way off to the left. Not good RNG on that nope, one, but we missed tempo. Right shape on that we one. missed tempo, missed, missed power. Left. And on hard swing difficulty, that's going to send you off in the wrong direction. <laughs> Sending in the rough, a pretty good lie. Going to go to the 61 degree wedge here. Quite a bit of loft. Yeah, I'm going to get pretty aggressive here. Great shot. Underswung by a mile there, but it actually works out, which means my initial calculation was way wrong. Looks like a right to left putt. Ball is above the feet. Beauty. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth. And Four under through eight. Right where he is. What a start. So leader is at minus seven, then minus six right there, but I mean, there's a lot of players who have left to play. 600-yard par 5 here on the ninth to close out the front. Tempo, that's the one we need. If we could just do that every single time. He's so much easier, right? But it'd be too easy. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. I've been having a blast with this career mode, which is why you all have seen me playing it so much and posting a lot of videos on it. I'm going to do hybrid finesse. How much green do we have? 247 to the front. We have a front pin location. I think the hybrid full loft is the way to go. Going to come off to the right. Such a slow swing. I felt that one too. Get lucky. It's not what I meant. <laughs> I'd rather have been in the bunker, honestly. The pick shot. We, we've been chipping the ball well, though. So I'm going to do full loft on this chip shot from the rough here. Great distance control. Just mis-aimed it. We don't know if we mis-aimed it or if it was the dispersion that sent us off to the right, right? It could be a number of things in this game. I like the mystery of it. That adds a simulation aspect to it. You just don't know. What an incredible start. 31 on the front side. Five, Five under. under par. Let's keep gaming. Come on. We can win this. Imagine if we win back to back. Be the one. Oh, I need some coffee. I don't know about intently. you all. Cheers for that birdie. Well, that wasn't so that ideal. Up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway <laughs> with the drive, now in the rough. So he should be able to get a full club on this, but the ball below his feet for his second. Ball is below the feet. It's going to come off to the left. I like a full finesse pitching wedge here with full loft on it as well. This one's looking good. That's beautiful. Go in. 
what a shot! And here at the 10th, with the iron in hand and hits it stone cold close. Now Ryan this, doesn't mess around in round number burger. one in tournaments. Have you all noticed that? So ball is below the feet. It's going to be a steady left to right. Yes. Okay. Well done. A couple of. Hey, get your coffee here, back. You made it to get a refill or whatever you drink. And I know a lot of you don't drink coffee. And he moves Cheers. To within a shot of the lead at six under now for the tournament. Six under. What? Oh, this one always gets me. It's significant downhill. We're going to play it as like 28 feet. That's going to be about a seven yard flight down the slope. I'm going to be hitting the. We're going to play this safe with the iron. Put it on the middle of the green. No need to play it insane. I'm going to aim for like 200. That's the swing. Safe shot, but it's also a smart shot, right? Look at this, though. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, center of the green. Good shot. Pretty big left to righter here for birdie. 21 feet down the hill. This thing looks to me like it's going to pick up a lot of speed, and it looks like it's left to right the entire way. I think this thing's going to break about two feet left to right. Three feet. Oh, my. Jerry, where were you on that one? <laughs> Jerry's making sure he adds a note to his caddy books like, oh, I missed that one. So he added that putt to the caddy book. So thank you, Jerry. All is above the feet. Steady right to left. Let's hit this firm and send it in the hole. It, I'm telling you all, you could be very aggressive okay, on short well putts. Done. Just send them. Here at 11, and he'll remain at Especially level and uphill putts. Five, aim like four or five feet past the hole and just send them. We are one stroke back. Plenty of golf left here. Long par four. That thing shot off to the left of that dispersion zone kind of helpful because if we get the right side of that dispersion zone that ball is going Play anywhere a good round going here on this thursday and that another fine effort off the beautiful now, anybody else just having a blast this with this game i'm having a blast 12. playing it making content for it and just playing this career mode like when i'm outside of this youtube series i'm still playing the career mode but with ryan gamer jr and if and a few other characters as well so I have a lot of ongoing crew modes that I'm just playing for fun. We're going to do full loft on this. It's a little bit downhill. We know the wind's not moving very much. They're giving us easy wind conditions. Have you all noticed that? We haven't really had to play the high wind in the PGA Tour yet. Give us the wind game. Look at that swing plane. <laughs> Straight and then kind of a... Oh, I don't even know what you bad. call it. Good a shot. hook? Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really. Outside That's how forgiving today. swing playing chance can be now. on this game. Another birdie. And he seemingly had no problem with his reads all round long. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Noda, you should have gave me more information. To me, it looks pretty flat. Maybe if anything, left to right up the slope here. I'm going to go like half a cup outside. Hit it pretty firm. What a read! Oh, yes. Come on! To get up that Tied for the lead! Cheers, everybody! We play insane in round number one. Have you all noticed that? A 307 yard carry off the tee here. Down, We can send it down the slope, though. 618 yard par 5. Just want to carry it over this front bunker. It went left. This one starting a little bit left. Get lucky. We almost bounced into the first no cut there. Fairway here. This one in that rough. Yeah, we can't get there. We can't get there. We have a very tough lie here, especially with six iron and above. Gonna have to hit the seven iron. Play it safe. Not much else we can do. Miss the fairway off the tee on this golf hole. You're gonna. 
have the consequences, right? Okay, that's going to get down toward the base of the hill. A lot of divots down there, and that will leave a difficult third. A lot of divots down here. I don't see any. have to hit one more club here, Frank. A little bit uphill. Yeah, it's 115, significant uphill. I'm going to add about 10 yards to the shot. That would be about... Let's change to the finesse. Whatever gives us the 20. It would be the 50-degree wedge. Aim at about 21. Full loft. I'm going to aim at actually 24. No, let's do 22. We're second-guessing ourselves now. Get up. Beautiful. That was a little more uphill than I anticipated. We also were hitting from an uphill lie and look at this thing. I think we know this putt's going to be uphill. <laughs> and safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, wow. you don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or so five footer. So we at least know have to be good. that this thing is slanted and it uphill quite a bit. I'm going to aim... Play it like it's above one foot. We're going to aim at like 49. Up this slope right to left. Hit it pretty firm. Come back. It should cut back. Yeah, it's just hard to hit it right that right hard. There. We've seen others leave that putt much Because I didn't want to send that. it. They've seen others leave it much shorter than that. So that makes me feel better. To me, it looks left to right slightly. Well, Judge, that is in for par here at 13. And that was one where it was flat by the ball, but it kicked hard left to right about an inch after our shooting spot. A few inches. So we are still tied for first. Orange and 12 yard par four here. What do we need to carry? The bunker is 299. That could be. Perfect. Yep, and it is. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder. See, how I drink a lot of water. Cheers. Go. Right. And the driving <laughs> has been simply superb. A little over 80 yards here as he gets set for his second. 82. Uphill. It's it's basically flat to me. Gonna do full D loft on the 61 degree wedge so it does not spin too much back. I'm going to aim a little bit to the right because it's a little bit at right to left side hill lie. Stuck the That's beautiful. Right this it's going to still come good. back a little. See, if I don't do full D loft, that ball's oh, going to spin a back off the green. And this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. The sound off that club face. Now Don't forget, you can control the spin on those high degree wedges by adding D-Loft. If you don't want it to spin as much back, add full D-Loft to it with the left with the non-swing stick, move it all the way down. Ball is below the feet. It'll be a steady left to right, not much break at all. I was wrong. Oh, I broke the other way. This 14 pole. That's Eight under for birdie. We and crush it in round one. Spot here in this opening round, the leader by one. <laughs> All right, now, round number three was our big decrease there in the last one, but let's send it. It's got to hold. Even if it's first cut, it's not bad. We'll do just it's in the fine. fairway. From 163 oh. yards out, this All, is I, Sometimes I forget second. and zoom and cancel the zoom, right? Because I only use the zoom on the green. Uphill, probably about 15 feet. It's probably going to take off around five yards to the shot. We need to carry this quite a bit. Where's our landing zone? Back right. 168 is the back of the green. We don't have a lot of green to work with. I think this is one where we play it pretty safe and just put ourselves with a, a putt on the middle of the green. Or, or that. Or last second decision, shot. if you all watch me. The eye so test. Or we could well, just do that. Still to go. Ball is below the feet. To me, 
Oh, this is tough. I, In my mind, I want to say it's left to right at the beginning, but I also think it comes back the other way. I'm going to hit this pretty firm. Yes! Ah, the putter on point late here You're on in the fire round. at Torrey Pines. At 14, this is just like 15, round one at PGA West. The lead moves but they gave us one mile per hour win. Why? I wish you could one. change that. You can't change it. I wish I could always pick wind. 236, significant downhill. I am going to like the five iron landing at like the middle part. Not five iron. I'm even going to go to six iron. No. Got to go five iron. Take a little bit off. If I could hit that diagonal shot shaping, I would draw it, right? That would be the ideal shot there. Just draw it in towards the pin. And that one going to wind up smack dab in the middle Beautiful. of the green. Chance now for another birdie. Definitely right to left. This thing is breaking a lot up this slope. It's pretty significant uphill. Going to aim at about the 46, 47 mark. Maybe even more, 48. Going to break quite a bit right to left. You all believe the golf we've been playing in round ones in the PGA Tour? Talk about nice starting strong. Good line <laughs> yeah, they can't all go in. They can't all go in is right. Yeah, it's left to right. We just saw it breaking back towards the hole. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. Nine under, but you I mean, wonder how some of the pros are going to be playing. You wonder how the rest of the field is going to do. I think we will probably will see a 9 under or 10 under. Maybe even better than that. I mean, what did Cantlay shoot in the fight on 100 difficulty? He shot like in the last tournament 11 really under or better in that final round. He shoot 13 maybe. Drive has been superb and this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Significant the uphill. This fairway he'll look over his second. 132 is going to be short. Got to go to the pitching wedge approach shot. Land it. Probably aim. I'm, I'm going to actually go 137. Full pitch. Full loft. Just to make sure we get it there. Could spin back a touch. We are dialed in. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. This will slide a bit right. Steady, yeah. It's going to break right. Steady left to right. Eight foot putt. It looks like it's uphill slightly. I'm going to get pretty aggressive. No! Oh! oh, right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. Yeah, the short ones do sting. That's that thing broke so much. I was not reading that much break. No problems there. That's a par. Here at Nine under. And Round one of Tory Pines. Two. Riot Gamer is crushing it out there. Let's keep it up. Let's finish strong with the birdie here. On a tough par five. Just whatever you do, Ryan, don't hit it in the water. That was Jerry's <laughs> main advice go, leading into this tournament this week. Like Ryan, please. That is right and way offline. Please don't hit fans and don't hit it in the water. Well, the good news Wayward is from the tee, and this we one won't be going for it. For the rough, Frank. <laughs> so that's good. If the fans would move out of the way, I would punch it right through those trees. I don't know. There's kind of a gap, though. You all see what I'm seeing? Like, <laughs> hey, hear me out. Hear me out. There's a gap here with the punch. Not to go for it. No, what am I even thinking? You are like, what do you mean there's a gap, Ryan? What are you looking at? Let's just send it. Deal off this pitching wedge. Put it in the fairway. <laughs> you are like, yeah, there's a gap if you want to hit somebody in the head. <laughs> knock out a fan. <laughs> there was a gap wow, there. Wild off the tee. Second shot sort of clanged through the trees, but it ends up in the fairway. 
Still though, gotta be smart here. Ways coming up for this third shot. 164 would put us in the water. 192 is where we want to go for. So if we aim for about 189, approach 7 iron. Full sand. The ball is going to shoot off to the left with 5.9 degree angle above the feet there. That's a great shot. It's going to be a tough putt down this slope. You can get a sense a of the break. Now this for another birdie. Actually, it says level in the ball, but to me, when I first saw that, I'm like, this thing's going to break a lot. But it looks straight. If anything, maybe right to left. One time. Oh, wow. No, I was right. My initial read was there, right before I approached the putt. Jerry, where were you on that one? Write that one down in the caddy book. I didn't study that one in the book you gave me. <laughs> Nine under for round number one. What a round! Okay, so that will Come on! The at the last. And that is as good an opening round as you're going to see. It'll one be stroke lead here in round Cameron one. Young in second. Look at the one stroke shows lead. Our featured golfer but on top by a shot. They're so going to give us win. Good you know they will. Round number one, Frank. It certainly is, uh, Rich, but there's a long way to go. It's just a sliver Cheers, everybody. of a lead. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda, Iona. What an incredible performance. That is a five under on the front and a four under on the back for a nine under score. That puts us one up from Cameron Young. It is going to be a battle. Let's see the, let's see the top 10 here. How did Cantlay do this time? Wow, so Cantlay is not, Tony Finau had a solid day. I would love to see, have a final pairing with Tony Finau. Cantlay is all the way down at, 20, at 25, not all the way down, it's still really good but did not play like he did in round number four in that last tournament. He was playing lights out. We are sitting with the one stroke lead, but we had ideal conditions. No wind. We should be able to score there. We were also dialed in on the greens, which is something that you love to see in round one at a, in a tournament. But round number two, we will be battling in probably a back and forth match here. Up by one. Hopefully we get some win. Please game. Give us some wind. I want the challenge of some wind. But thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. You're going to see all four rounds in different videos. So stay tuned for the next episode in the series. It could already be live. Check the full playlist I've linked in the description. It could be that the full series is already live. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And don't forget, or maybe you don't know, I have a second channel, Gamer Ability 2. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers over there. I post a lot over there as well. So get on over there, be a part of that today. But I greatly appreciate all the support on this Ryan Gamer career mode series and all the other Ryan Gamer sports career modes on the channel. We have five ongoing careers right now. EA PGA Tour, PGA 2K23, NBA 2K23, WWE 2K23, and MLB The Show 23. So be sure to check out the other sports as well to stay up to date on all things Ryan Gamer here in the career mode series on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. But I will see you all in round two. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.